Today I will be introducing the functions and features of our JSL74 timer. So I'm going to start by take a, taking a look at our display. The top line displays the running time of the timer, and the bottom line displays the set time or the preset value for the timer. So there are four buttons on the bottom keypad here, set, stop or down arrow, pause or up arrow, and reset or ST. When you press the set button once without holding it, it will direct you to a prompt to set your timers. With this product, you can actually set two timers, but in this mode for now, you can only set one. And you can just click the up arrow or down arrow keys to set your time. Pressing set again will take you back to the home screen. Now notice the timer is only setting in seconds, which is not really suitable for setting times in hours or minutes. And we can actually change the units in programming mode, along with a range of other parameters for your specific needs, like timer mode, temperature units, or whether the timer counts up or counts down. To enter programming mode, just press and hold the set button for three seconds. When nothing is being pressed after a while, it'll just go back to the default screen. So here we have our uh, timer functions and we have different timer modes. We have single delay, we have delayed interval, and we have a cycle mode. So for now, we're just gonna keep it at single delay. Next, we have uh, our different timer units. So you can set it to minute seconds, minutes, hour minute, hour, day hour, or just regular second. So we're just gonna keep it at minute seconds because it's usually easier to set seconds. So this is our uh, timing direction, T-D-I-R. So this will determine whether your timer counts up or counts down. So we're just gonna keep it at counting down. Next, this is our output mode. So there's two different settings. There's ONDL or on delay, where the relay will stay off at the start of the timer and it'll switch on once the timer reaches the set time. And you have your OFDL or off delay. And this will, the complete opposite, it's just the relay will be on and then we'll switch off once the timer reaches the set time. All right, so we're just gonna keep it at O and DL or on delay. All right, so this is our uh, timer uh, run mode. This will determine um, if your timer uh, powers on um, when you click the reset button or if um, it starts immediately when you turn on the timer, use your timer. So this first example, we're just gonna go into programming mode to set our settings in single delay, uh, minute seconds units, counting down, uh, on delay, and reset. So now you can click the reset button to start your timer. A couple of the other options here, you can hold the pause button and it'll pause your time and it'll reset once you let go. Or you click the stop button and it'll reset your timer back to the original set time. So we can run it again. And clicking the reset button will reset it, but it will not stop and it'll continue counting down. So another example is using our timer in cycle mode. So I'm just gonna go into programming mode again and change my function to cycle, C-Y-C-L. Next, I'm just gonna have it back into minute seconds for timer one, and then timer two, I'll keep it the same units. At this time, I want it counting up, so I'll just change it to up for the timing direction. And then next for my output mode, I actually want to use OFDL or off delay. And I want to have my running mode in a different mode, the power up mode. So remember, this is when it starts when you power on the timer. Okay. So after I finish programming mode, I'm just going to set my timer one and timer two, uh, pressing it momentarily and changing it. 
So I just want to set it to, just to show you a quick example, first timer to three seconds, and the second timer to, let's just say six seconds. To show you an example of how power up mode works, I'm just gonna power it off and then power it on. And immediately starts running right when the power goes on. And you can see it's cycling. And you notice the indicator here, when it is um, on, then there's a green indicator and it turns off once the output mode is off. And you notice if you're trying to change your parameters in programming mode, it just doesn't work because it's constantly cycling. So you need to press your stop button first before you go into programming mode again.